God, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus? And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is mine heir. <laughs> Behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thine own mouth shall be thine heir. All right. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. Yeah. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Amen. And he said unto him, I am the Lord that brought thee out of Ur of the Chaldees to give thee of this land to inherit it. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus, we love you, Lord, tonight. Jesus. We thank you, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, 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 I want you to trust in me. Amen. Right. Anybody been there before? Sorry. Amen. Been there. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. You got to take a step of faith. A yes, leap of sir. faith sometimes it seems like. And you, take, you look over that edge. All right. There's nothing Stop. there. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Abram was told to leave everything that he knew, put his trust completely in God. Amen. God doesn't Amen. expect us to understand everything. We just have to put our faith and our trust right. in him. Amen. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Yeah. God made a covenant with Abram yeah. in Genesis chapter 15, and he told him he was going to make of him a great nation. Great Hallelujah. Nation, Here was Abram. He was an old man. Uh -huh. His wife was elderly. Right. Amen. They had no children yet. But here was God giving them a promise. Amen. Right. I want to talk to you for a few minutes tonight about claiming promises. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. We're going to claim those promises that God has given us. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. So many times way down the road we're, we're looking and we're saying, God, I, you promised me way back then that you were going to do this in my life. You promised me victory, Lord. And here I am. I'm still struggling right. with this. Oh, hallelujah. Sometimes it's a long wait between the message and the miracle. Amen. Hallelujah. But God has a time. Amen. That time when we fulfill that promise will come to pass. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. God told Abram to look at the night sky. Try to count the stars. He says, so shall thy seed be. Look around you, Abram. Can you look at the sands of the sea? Hallelujah. Can you count those sands of the ocean? Hallelujah. That's how many is going to be in your multitude, your family. Hallelujah. God gave him a promise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. He believed in the Lord, verse says, and he counted it to him for righteousness. And sometimes God reveals to you that he's going to do something in your life. And you need to expect it to happen. Amen. Amen. Don't just say, oh, okay, God, if you, if you, if you really think you can move this mountain, All then right. go ahead, God. Don't have that attitude because God's not going to do it. Amen. But expect it to happen. Have faith and believe. God, you said it. Hallelujah. I believe in it, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's going to come to pass. Amen. Nothing is impossible with God. Yeah, come on. He ended up having an Ishmael uh -huh, uh -huh. in place of an Isaac at first. All right, all right. Ishmael was not the promised child. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Ishmael was not the one that he was supposed to have. Hallelujah. Ever since then, we've had trouble. The Israelites yeah. have had trouble. Yeah. Amen. Because of Ishmael. Amen. But Isaac was the promised one. Isaac was the one that God had promised them. Hallelujah. Jesus. Too many times we try to rush God and we say, well, God didn't stop it. So, you know what? It must have been his will. Don't end up with an Ishmael in your life. Amen. Don't end up with problems in your life that you can't handle. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3. I believe I can quote it, but I'm going to go ahead and turn there real quickly. Proverbs 3, verses... Uh, Five and six, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lead not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him 
and each shall direct thy paths. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, nothing is impossible with God. Hallelujah. But we need to trust in him with all of our heart. Uh, amen. Sometimes we don't understand it all. Like I said before, uh, sometimes it seems like, uh, God, are you sure? Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, but let me tell you something. Uh, just a few months ago, uh, amen, I say about eight, nine months ago, uh, amen, I began to pray. I began to seek God uh, like I never sought him before. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. He asked me to trust in him about some things. Hallelujah, Jesus. I wasn't sure if I was going to take a step off that ledge and go plunging down into a deep, dark cavern. Hallelujah, Jesus. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Hallelujah. But I took a leap of faith. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sometimes we have to trust in God. Lean not into your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him. Amen. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he's going to direct your path. He's going to lead you in the way he wants you to go. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I know tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I know that God has given our pastor a vision for this church. Hallelujah. Whenever our pastor pulled into this city, what was it, five years ago, I believe. Hallelujah. God gave him a vision. He showed him that there was going to be some great things that were going to take path place in this city. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. I want to tell you, church, that we are going forward. Amen. We're not going to stay in the past. We're not going to stay back and be us forward and no more, so to speak. But we're going forward. Hallelujah, Jesus. I believe that this year, hallelujah, Jesus. I believe that this year is the year of Jubilee. Amen. I believe that this year is a year of victory. Hallelujah. scripture said, as always, one of my favorite scriptures, Isaiah chapter 41, amen, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, hallelujah, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, hallelujah, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint, hallelujah, 
Oh, that's always been a scripture that I live by. Amen. I, I can't tell you how many times I've had to wait on him. Amen. But you see, I understand the ramifications of getting ahead of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. God, I need to help 